What's up guys, President Clash here and today we're playing some Clash Clans and doing some base reviews of my clan mates in this clan called Request and GTFO. So yeah, I'm reviewing the leader and some other guy who's random. And let's get started. So as you can see, this is my leader's base, level 72. And my leader also commented, hi YouTube and any level 70 plus watching join our clan. And let me just show you our clan real fast. Request, it's a request and donate clan as you can see I have over a thousand donates so there's a reason I like it so I can gain XP Very good if you have watched my XP video Level 70 plus may stay and members don't donate make sure you do not camp or, or donate if you're a member So yeah that's about it and let's get started So this base I, I can see a lot of problems with it uh, It's not a bad thing like I'm not saying your base sucks but there's lots of improvements I'm about to tell you so right here, all your motors can get to level 6, I believe. Yeah. So you have level 4 here, and I have level 4 currently for my Town Hall 7, which I'm about to upgrade to level 5. But yeah, those are pretty weak. I think you should, you should really get them because they're your centralized motors, and they're really useful. As well, your air defenses are very centralized. That's a good thing, and you're upgrading them to level 4. Just keep them upgrading, get them to level 5 and 6, and that would be really good. Second I see, or third I see that these wizard towers are really low. You got a level two wizard tower, level three, and another level three. Um, level three, you can go up to already level six, and yeah, you can go up to level six or level five, and that's pretty low right now. So uh, you really need to get a lot of more uh, elixir gold so you can do this stuff. But I understand you're running a request in GTFO clan, so um. It makes sense that you don't have too much, like, elixir or whatever. You do have 22 attacks and 5 defensive wins. And as you can see, he has level 5. His archers and barbarians are level 5, but everything else is not. So I think you need to get that working. Um, your dragons can definitely be a higher level. You should do that. Dragons are really good sometimes. They're stupid, though. You can get... You can get this clan castle level 4 for sure. Your collectors are all the all level 11, so that's very nice. And you do have a level 10 barracks. You have one level 1 dark barracks, and you got another one building over here. You can upgrade some more your some of your other barracks for more XP. I don't know if you're looking for XP or not. And let's look more into the base design. Oh yeah, right before we start that, your archer towers are level 8. They can be, oh, I think, I believe level 10. So you better get upgrading on those as well as the wizard towers and air defenses and motors and everything basically. And what and your hidden, hidden Teslas, which I'm about to focus in on. So here you got a level two one, here you got level one. So you got three hidden Teslas, very nice. And your cannons, some of your cannons can go to level 10. As well, these bombs is actually a very nice part of your base. You have four openings right here. Here you have a hidden Tesla and some bombs and spring traps. You got the same thing, and it's very good for when people, um, giants or barbarian kings or whatever, they go through this, or any really any troop that goes through this, they'll be eradicated in seconds, they'll be blown off, and then this cannon and other material will be shooting at it and will be destroyed fast and easy. But if they do manage to get through, then, um, you do have tons of defenses spread around to, um, protect your base, so overall, that's a really good design. And you do have level 7 walls you're working on getting those level 6, that's very nice. Um, once you're done with that, go ahead and get your um, walls to level 8, if you can. And, what's this? A skeleton trap. Not bad, really good. Good location for it, not bad. Um, let's see, let's see, the spell factory. Should be fine, I'm not sure about it fully. And I believe that's it about this space. This space, I would overall give it a 7.8, 8.2, I'm I'll be honest with you, leader. It's not too good because you you're really kind of rushed. Your base is very nice in over in overall layout, but your defenses and all your defenses need to be upgraded, and that's what you you need to upgrade the most. And I understand the conditions you're working in, your request in GTFO clan. You barely get time for um other stuff. But um, if you do want to get your base better, I suggest taking the time out and fixing your base up. It would really help, and it's what I suggest. So let's get started. And oh, sorry, let's get started with the next base. And before I go, as you can see, 1470 is 
at the trophy. 1470. So let's see who we're gonna review next. Let's review um well, this is somebody lower. Where's that guy I wanted to review? Here we go, Angel. He has 1760 trophies in the town of 7, so let's check him out. He's level 58. So first of all, let's look at his troops. He has all level 3 troops, so that is not good. You need to get your troops upgraded because you are town hall 7 and I know you can get them upgraded. I'm a town hall 7 too. Oh nice, you got a barbarian king right here. He's level 1. When you're done with your other stuff, go ahead and upgrade that. Let's see. Yeah, working on the Dark Elixir. But before, now let's look at the base layout. As you can see, it's not bad. You have um, level 7 and 6 walls in all the corners mostly. And it's very protecting the outside of the base. So that's a very good thing for people that are raiding from outside. Because they're always going to hit those first walls. And they're always either going to hit the crystal one or they're going to hit the level 7 crystal. And as I can see, you are currently farming. And you got the clan castle in the middle, that's very nice. And you got two mortars. Where's your third one? Hmm. Your base is a little out of layout. I think you guys can, I think you can fix it. Um, this bomb can move, be moved between this elixir collector and this dark elixir storage. And this motor in the corner just doesn't make sense. Like, I guess maybe it's because you want to protect your um, town hall, but you're farming anyway. There's no need for you to actually be protecting your town hall. You can just like put it in the corner all the way here. That's what I do. Plus, it saves a chance in case you do have a lot of loot. People are less tempted to um get attack this, but they're also tempted to attack this, get that star, and as well get your loot. So sometimes you don't know what the attacker is doing. So let's go over here. He has a dragon. That's really good. Your barracks can get a little higher in level, and your dark barracks is fine. Your spell factory is also really good. Your Tesla's also good. Your wizard towers can get to level four, so you should get work on that. And this archer tower and this one should get to level eight. Yeah, all of them. Let's see the cannons. Yep, the cannons can get to level eight as well. So you should really get working on that. There's tons of cannons and stuff to do. The collectors, um, gold mine collectors are. Let's see. Yeah, work on your gold mine collectors that are least upgraded. Otherwise, you have level 11 elixir collectors, so that's very nice. And, um, oh yeah, I for almost forgot air defenses. So, if somebody wanted to do a healer giant on this, and this is really easy to do, he could take, they could take out this air defense and take out almost more than half of the base. Let's see the range of this. They can take out, yeah, almost half the base with just the healers. And if the healers ended up dying, it take them still a lot while. Oh, not a lot while. It'll take them a while to get through the base. Like, get to die, sorry. Uh, that's what I meant. Anyways, so the, the healers would die and the giants would still rule, rule out. And they'd probably have extra troops like archers, clan castle reinforcements, all that type of stuff. And you get 100 percented. So you do want to be careful about your air defense placement. Especially at Town Hall 7 and up, because at Town Hall 6, don't many people don't use air attacks, but starting from Town Hall 7, people actually tend to use air attacks. Because now they have the minions, and now they can use level 4 balloons, which are, are better than level 3, and I'd suggest using them myself. And what is this? Laboratory. So that is good, you are finally upgrading level 4 troops. And I think that's about it. Um, you seem to have trophy push, so like, let me go back to that base again. Yep, you have 32 attacks, but you do have good donations. That's probably the reason why you're level 58, because you seem a bit rushed. But, and I know you can get there. So yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you like this video, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a base review, all you have to do is go to this. Um, let me show you where you have to go. Look at your clan tag. Put that in the description as well as your um, username. sorry, And as well as your clan name. Yeah, sure why not. Your clan name will also work. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. And have a great day.